there's a little bit of a fancy element to it. I couldn't help it. I just layered this over top. Wow. If there's something in Instant Crush that you don't like, it's in here too. This is not a blind buy. <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Charlotte. Thank you so much for being here with me today. We're gonna do a haul. I actually have a couple of hauls I have to do that I have to present to you the new perfumes I have in my collection. But today we're just gonna do the kind of like fall, winter, heavy hitters sort of fragrances that I've added to my collection that I'm really excited to share with you that I'm excited to wear for fall, for winter, as it gets colder. As you can tell, I have uh, relocated. No longer shooting in my bedroom. Yay! <laughs> Let's get into it. Fall, fall, the most fun time of year for fragrance. And this year there were some fragrances that I really was looking forward to adding to my collection for the fall time. Some of these are well known in the community, most of these. A few of these. I have been coveting these fragrances for a long time, for a while, and now was the time to do it. I have a YouTube channel on fragrance. Every reason in the world now to buy fragrances and continue my collection. So I started with, I've been wanting to buy this for, for a year, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait for next fall. Now is fall. And so this is Tom Ford's Noir Pour Femme. This is an amber vanilla that was created by Sonia Constant. I am going to try to remember to mention the noses to perfumes because I am trying to become better at knowing who exactly did who, did who, who exactly did what. Hopefully I'll be able to get more of a sense of, you know, these perfumers identity, their nose identities too. And I'm really interested in studying further. So this is an intoxicating, in your face, rich, warm, spicy, creamy, lactonic vanilla. Now it's not lactonic at first whiff, at first spray. It is a very, very spicy, ambery sort of vanilla, but it has kulfi in this. Kulfi is a Indian dessert. It's kind of like ice cream, but a little bit denser, a little bit creamier. Often has rose water, cardamom, saffron, apparently sometimes mango. I did not know that, but I definitely associate it to that cardamom. Maybe a bit of saffron, rose water. So you will not find those individual notes in this perfume, but they are definitely there in the kulfi note. And I'm so excited to wear this, you guys. Yeah, this is just a haul, right? So I have not worn all of these, but at first impression, this is absolutely an intoxicating, bold winter scent, and I cannot wait to keep wearing this and report back on more detailed thoughts on this one. This is definitely strong. I think the dry down is really what makes it incredible. It becomes really milky and creamy and warm. Like I said, you don't need much of this. It is strong, so. Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. Next up, uh, I knew I wanted to get one from this line. I wasn't sure exactly which one. I was going a little bit with pricing and what was available. I decided to go with Bouquet Ideal by Zerjoff. I even kept this, I know it's so weird that I kept that there, but I just, I just like making it feel like it's still new. I still haven't taken the plastic off, but there you go. This is from the Casamorati, Casamorati, Casamorati line by Zerjoff. This is Bouquet Ideal. Oh, I love this. And this is just a very warm, spicy, cinnamon heavy, woody vanilla. Incredibly smooth, incredibly rich. While still being strong and very warm, spicy, there's nothing sharp in this. All smooth all smooth edges. Really, really lovely. And actually, maybe I'll talk about my next one in association with this one. Because one of my next buys was Kayali's Invite Only Amber 23. This is just the little decant 10 mil. As you can see, I've already put a dent in it. Says something. But um, this, the mid, reminds me a little bit of Bouquet Ideal. Okay, a little bit. They are not dupes by any means, okay? And actually, if you would like for me to do, I will do a more comprehensive review of Kayali Invite Only Amber 23 because I did say that I wanted to, after wearing it a few times, and let me see whatever. Yeah, I wanted to do a comparison with Mancer's Oud Vanille, Chagaf Ouds, and Bouquet Ideal. I would really like to do a comparison with those ones if that interests you. Kiali Invite Only Amber 23 is one that I definitely like. I definitely really, really like this. I really like that cherry, tobacco, cinnamon opening. I definitely felt when I first sprayed this that I wanted more vanilla from it, but I do find the vanilla comes out and 
it becomes more vanilla forward as it dries down and morphs with your skin. This one is more long lasting to me than the other Kayali's, except for maybe the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper which I think is a little bit more long lasting or on par with this one basically. But the dry down on this is really, really, really sexy. It's beautiful, it's warm, spicy. It's a little bit oody, vanilla, definitely ambery, very intoxicating. I tried layering this too with uh, Kayali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper, which was very nice. And also with Kayali Vanilla, which was obviously very nice. It's seamlessly blended in to invite only. It's the same vanilla, so it just kind of amped it up, you know? This is definitely a great, great fall and winter scent, and I look forward to uh, having a more nuanced opinion and more nuanced thoughts on it in the future for you. But in the meantime, Casamirati, Bouquet Ideal, and invite only, Amber 23 same sort of vibes next up what would be the next one that goes with that next up i knew also again that i really wanted this i had i'm such a good girl i'm so good you guys i actually this is not a blind buy <laughs> hear me thinking everything's a blind buy. This is not a blind buy. I had a sample of this last year and I loved it and I knew I needed it for the fall. This is Atelier des Arts, Atelier des Arts Lune Féline and yes, the bottle is absolutely beautiful and over the top and glamorous. The other side is this beautiful design as well. How beautiful is that, right? This is a very spicy vanilla. Very, very warm spicy. It has a lot of cardamom in this, which at first when I had the little sample was a little bit, you know, too much for me, but the vanilla in this is just so deep and like caramelized and smoky and rich that uh, I don't care. It's so amazing for fall. Yeah, I just love the cinnamon in this at the top too. This and Bouquet Ideal are also the, the fragrances that are making me feel like, okay, it's okay, I can miss out on all the other fall new things that are out. These are really impressive fragrances to me that are new in my collection. I'm gonna take my time to get to know them and enjoy them. This is really, really intoxicating to me. Definitely not blind buy safe. Actually, none of these are blind buy safe in my opinion. Lune Féline. I guess I'm just gonna go through my heavy hitters. Are these my heavy hitters? I guess they are. Do I have another heavy hitter here? Do I? Oh, yes. Okay, so the next one I have here is by L'Interdit, and this is, I mean, by Givenchy, and this is L'Interdit Intense. You guys, when I got L'Interdit, I knew I needed to get L'Interdit Intense. I love L'Interdit. L'Interdit Intense, though, is such a unique, intoxicating tuberose. The sesame in here is so interesting and unique. Like what I get is the tuberose with the sesame and the vetiver and the patchouli and the mix is intoxicating. Wow. When I first sprayed this, I was almost kind of like, wow, that sesame is a little bit overwhelming. I absolutely don't think this is a safe blind buy. The sesame can definitely be overwhelming and nauseating for some people even maybe. But as it dries down, that sesame just makes it so creamy and milky and dense. The tuberose feels dense and extremely sexy. Definitely very fall appropriate, a little bit a little bit vampy to me like I, I i i love this i really 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 love this so i'm thinking that this will be the end of this haul because these are like the heavy hitters although well there's a couple more okay no, i'm gonna do more the next fragrance i have to share with you is by mancera and this is amber fever and i was so excited to add this to my collection you guys i've been wanting this one for a long time i have quite the mancera collection I, i'm actually thinking of doing a ranking video where i basically share all of my mancera fragrances but in order of like i like them all but least favorite to most favorite let me know if you're interested in that too but amber fever oh this is so perfect i love this so much this is one that i know i'm going to reach for a lot especially in the fall and winter this is definitely similar to instant crush if you've seen those comparisons it's true it does have an opening note and in fact it's it's the part that if you don't like if there's something in instant crush that you find that you don't like in the opening it's in here too so it has that it's a sort of like a i want to say almost like a almost a gasoline sort of sort of thing going on at the very beginning of these fragrances. So yes, that's normal. And no, you're not gonna smell like that the rest of the day. <laughs> um, but it also has a lot more of that burnt sugar BR540 thing going on with this one to me. 
and it's a lot airier and lighter and fluffier than Instant Crush. So I know that this is gonna be an easier reach for me. I love Instant Crush, but Instant Crush is definitely a little bit deeper and heavier to me than Amber Fever. Amber Fever is going to be similar to Amber Oud Rouge, though I much prefer Amber Oud Rouge, I prefer over this, at least for now, but similar in that sort of way that I could wear this pretty much anytime. The caramel is really nice in this. Sometimes I find the caramel note, especially in the Men's Sarah fragrance, is a little bit misleading, but in here it's really, really nice. It does add that beautiful sugary top note with that musky airiness. That's definitely like, I'm surprised we don't hear more about this as being a Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe because while it's not a dupe, I definitely don't think Instant Crush is a dupe either. And if anything, this comes closer to it than Instant Crush. Yeah, Amber Fever. Very excited for this one. And then finally, I knew I was gonna add this to my collection uh, eventually and I wanted to wait until uh, it was appropriate weather-wise. And uh, now's the time. This is Yves Saint Laurent Libre Intense. And uh, uh, yes, that is a dent I have already made in this. <laughs> Libre Intense is really, really just on the same continuum of Libre. Like if you don't like Libre, there's a chance you won't like this either. It really, literally you know how sometimes people say oh it's like this but just with extra vanilla and you're like okay but then it's totally different or it's got more than that this really is just like libre with extra vanilla so because of that it's an easier love for me for sure now i definitely will not reach for the regular libre in cold weather this is definitely what i'm gonna reach for because it's just amped up and more vanilla i love the regular libre too though in the summer not because it's like groundbreaking or amazing but libre is my very good like safe reach if i want to be able to smell myself all day and have something that really kind of blends and morphs with your skin really well that people enjoy around you that is a little bit of everything it's a little bit nice smelling and you know inviting smelling but it's also a little bit meditative a little bit grounding so for that reason to me it's a very good everyday kind of scent this one is the same thing but like for winter and fall to me like this is such an easy reach and in fact the reason that i put a dent in this is because the few times that i wore libre during the day I couldn't help it. I just layered this over top in the evenings and it was amazing, like obviously, right? So anyway, Libre Intense, very happy to have this in my collection. Maybe I'll do this one too. Okay, and finally, I also got by Annick Goutal and this is Nuit et Confidence. And this is the cutest, cutest bottle. But when you open it up, look what happens. Okay, wait, oh, this thing comes off. It has like a little elastic here and very annoying i'm just saying you will lose it so anyway like this if you want to put it back on you have to like <laughs> you have to like press this down to make sure it doesn't fall off and then go like that and then very cute super cute to display right nuit et confidence and this is one that i knew from the notes that i would really like it's definitely a incensey vanilla it says it has some white florals in it but i really get mostly just that ambery sweet vanilla like a tonka vanilla with the incense. Very, very easy reach. It's funny because it reminds me a little bit of the Seventh Virtues Vanilla Woods. Let me see what it is. Not the same at all, but there's something in it that reminds me of it. I really, really like the incense -y vanilla in this. This is not a loud projecting scent from the one time that I wore it so far, but a very easy reach for vanilla lovers, especially for amber, ambery balsamic sort of vanilla lovers. Not the strongest one out there, but very nice. I look forward to, uh, this is me trying to put the cap back on. <laughs> whole process see how i feel about it there's something i would love to be able to do a comparison of all these vanillas i have too but anyway nuit et confidence by annick goutal we will see how i feel about it right now it's not anything to write home about but it's very nice and then last but not least i finally did it like i just again this is my collector at heart -ness. i went for black opium eau de parfum intense and I tested the extreme in stores uh, a couple of weeks back and it was very powdery coffee to me. And now I realize it probably has more coffee than the intense. The intense to me smells like black opium with that absinthe note. So it's not that different. So far, so far you guys, I still need to figure it out, right? But obviously, yes, I like it. I like that absinthe note. Here I sprayed. Yeah, I like that anise absinthe licorice note at the top. 
But other than that, so far, I don't know what's so different about it. I don't know that I get more coffee, but you know, I had to, uh, I had to complete my collection for some weird reason. I had to. And what better time than fall winter? I actually am starting to think that the most obsolete black opium in my collection is going to become the regular black opium because all the other ones are kind of like going for a specific vibe. So why would I go for the regular one when I'm always, you know what I mean? Like now I'm like, okay, this will be my, my fall winter one. Now is time to rate my blind buys from the one I'm the most excited to wearing to the one I'm the least excited. Well, I mean, yeah. Okay, that works, that works. Okay, most excited about. It's honestly kind of hard. It's so hard. I can't do it, you guys. Maybe I'll do it the other way. Least excited because I'm excited about all of them. So least excited will be Black Opium or the Parfum Intense just because I know the scent. I have the other ones. It's not going to be groundbreaking to me. So, you know. Next one for me is going to be, for a similar reason, Libre Intense. Really, really like it, but it, I know it's just a, a solid perfume in my collection. Beyond that, there's no magical discovery that is there to happen. I guess next would be Invite Only by Kayali. I enjoy this, but again, like I'm not, uh, I enjoy this. I don't know. All of these I enjoy, obviously, so I'm not sure, but it's just not the one that I'm most excited about here. Next up, I would say Noir Pour Femme by Tom Ford. Just because this is one that I don't think I will wear as often as the other ones. There's there's a little bit of a fancy element to it. It doesn't, you could wear it every day, of course, but there is a little bit of a, okay, I'm going out to supper sort of feeling to this. And so because of that, I don't know that I'm going to wear it as often, but of course I'm excited about it. This is where it's really hard. The last four. I'm going to go for Bouquet Ideal. So... Again, maybe for the same reason, just because I know I really like this and it's gonna be an easy sort of wear for me in the fall and winter, but it doesn't dramatically sort of morph through the journey. I'm excited, but less excited than the other ones. <laughs> There you go. Okay, yeah. Next up, I will say I will go with Lune Filin by Atelier des Arts. Atelier des Arts. And I am very excited about this one. I can't wait to wear this. This is like, this is a very special scent. Like if you wanted just one warm, spicy, fancy vanilla, you know what I mean? This would be a great one to have. Next up, I'm going to say Mansara Amber Fever because I'm excited to see where this fragrance takes me. I have a feeling I'm going to use this a lot. And then finally, apparently, I would not have known this was, I wouldn't have probably put this as my number one had I looked at everything, but it's the number one, it's the one that's left. And that's L'Interdit Givenchy. Givenchy, L'Interdit Intense. And that's just because this is kind of epic to me. This is glorious. This is lovely. This is everything you could want in a fall and winter scent. And I'm really excited to continue seeing where this takes me and like what emotions come up for me with this one. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if there are any in this video that you've smelled before, if you have them in your collection, if you're looking to add them to your collection. Also, if there's anything that you think based on what you've seen that you think that I should smell, I haven't smelled already. Thank you so much for watching. I do have more hauls coming up, of course. I have have also a cinnamon video coming up. I have an amber video coming up. A lot of exciting stuff. Please let me know down below if there's anything you would like to see in particular. Until we see each other again, thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourself and I'll see you very soon.